Hi everybody, we are fresh back from SHOT Show and I have all of the new stuff that we showed at the show. Um, you've probably started to see it on some of the other YouTube channels out there. I want to give you a quick look at a, a partial lineup of our 2022 product. So, uh, one of the benefits of me getting to be at the show and seeing videos put out by other YouTubers and uh, other retailers and that is that I get to start to see some of the comments and see what you guys are thinking and feeling about the knives. Um, see which ones you're excited about and that kind of a thing. Um, truth be told, you guys seem to be excited about all of it. So that's really cool, really exciting to see. We have a really diverse lineup that we're starting off this year with. So let's jump in and start taking a look at these. Um, let's, uh, I guess, start off with, uh, first of all, the new Snex design. Guys, this cool, uh, innovative design incorporates uh, what uh, Snex is calling the super lock, which is a spine lock on the top right there. Um, they're also brought the clip up onto the top from the back side. So we've got some really unique stuff going on here, making this knife called the Vision a, a really, really interesting piece. Okay, you've got a, a hole in the blade where it gives you, giving you that middle finger flickability, an extremely usable blade shape on this knife as well. Kind of a modified um, sheep's foot we've got going on here. And beautiful milling in the titanium handle. This is a 20 CV blade steel, nice and lightweight, uh, fantastic knife. This uh, is going to MSRP right around $300. And uh, once again, please, these are prototypes and everything is subject to change. So numbers and specs and all that are not necessarily available yet. Um, neither are release dates. But um, when we do get the knives to the prototype stage, that means that they will be coming out uh, sometime within the year and uh, that things will be fairly close to uh, what we have to show you. Um, right now I have the uh, the Wii Vision available in both black and in gray titanium um, with a, a nice uh, stonewashed gray blade on the plain version. So a couple versions of that that we're showing. Um, again, I don't know exactly how it's going to end up when we release it, but it will be uh, likely 20 CV with titanium. Um, an incredible innovative design right here. So this is one that you're going to want to get in your hands when it's available to uh, check out the way that super lock works. Um, and uh, everything else about this knife. It, one of the th really cool things that I like about this knife, again, it's called the Vision. Um, there's a, a hole in the frame right there where you can actually see that lock bar disengage from the blade and see what's, what's going on in there, um, which I really like. So some cool features on this one, and um, you guys seem to really like the, the prototypes that we showed at the show, so be ready for that one. Next up, we have one that does not have a name yet, but due to the amount of different SKUs that I have here, I'm assuming that this one's going to be coming out fairly soon. Um, again, I don't have release dates on it, but uh, this is a, a pending name. Um, we have a really nice titanium frame, 20 CV bead blasted blade frame lock um, with a lot of really neat details and milling um, in the back of the handle. Um, on the blade, uh, you got some cutouts on the blade um, for your thumb or your finger. Um, very nice design on this. Uh, it's kind of a slightly, slightly upswept blade, and yet it does kind of drop just a little bit at the tip there. So it's, you've got a really nice, unique blade design here on this knife. Um, I've got a whole bunch of different versions here. We've got the um, antique bronze with a black blade. That plain one that I showed you, we've got kind of a, a green titanium. Uh, this one right here reminds me of some of the original Wii knives that were coming out in this color. Um, but I really, really love the bead blast gray finish on these. I've also got a blue titanium uh, freight handle with a bead blast blade. And then a bronze handle version, again with that beautiful bead blasted blade. Got a nice milled pocket clip that follows the lines of the handle there. And again, this is a, one of those knives that uh, has a lot of detail. And, and as you, the more you look at it, the more you see the, uh, the beauty and uh, just the intricate design that went into this knife. So excited about this one. Next up, we have uh, the Allen Elishowitz design that we talked about uh, and we showed you guys a, kind of a sneak peek of at Blade Show. 
Guys, this one is almost ready to be released. This is gonna be hitting dealers within the next couple of months. Um, so stay tuned for this one. The Allen Elishowitz design has been, oh, I forgot to show you, it's kind of all over the place. There is also a Dama Steel version of uh, that pending name style knife. And man, that Dama Steel is incredible. So uh, we have that, looks like it'll be coming out uh, in that version. Back to Allen's knife. Okay, Allen's knife, the Elishowitz design, very um, Elishowitz-esque. Um, it's a bolster lock, titanium frame uh, with 20 CV blade steel. It's going to be available in both the, uh, the recurve style uh, tanto and also the drop point harpoon style blades. And it'll be available in two colors. Um, we have the all blacked out versions, and then we have uh, one that I don't have any longer. Um, it, uh, it went home with somebody special at the show, but there is a black version with a blue uh, trim and a gray stone wash blade. So you can find that in other videos um, of SHOT Show reviews. So guys, Allen's knife is coming out really soon. One of the more comfortable, usable knife designs. Um, it's found its way into my pocket more than most knives recently. So. You don't want to miss that one. Um, it's going to have an MSRP right around $293. You'll pick it up at dealers for uh, somewhere around $250. Moving on. Guys, we have a burr design here um, from Rafael Ber uh, Berzeski. Try and get that right. Um, it's a beautiful upswept blade um, with some nice grinds going on, that nice flat grind um, going up to the swedge on that upswept blade. Um, when you look at the milling patterns on this handle, that's one of the things that I really like. You get some texture in there. Um, it's going to be hard to see, hard to show up on camera, but uh, really beautiful milling in that handle. You get a great grip on it um, with the way that uh, handle kind of flares down at the bottom there. Um, again, we've got a nice, beautiful milled pocket clip on there. Um, some beautiful detailing all around the handle. And uh, again, um, we're think, I'm thinking it's probably 20 CV um, and it will be titanium uh, frame lock. This guy is going to have an MSRP um, right around that $300 to $350 range. So uh, watch for this one. It will be coming out later this year. Next up, a Persian knife from Eric Oaks. Guys, this is a production version of Eric's Custom that has been extremely popular. And uh, the name on this is still pending. It could possibly change. Uh, um, we're calling it the Persian right now, but depending on what Eric decides, we'll see what that comes out at. Some things to notice on this knife. We have a beautiful hollow grind um, on the blade right here, and then the tip has a flat grind, giving you a, a nice strong piercing point right there. Um, you've got a beautiful swedge at the top, kind of crowned right there, giving it some really, really nice angles. Um, the bolster lock, uh, it's coming in a few different versions. We have the green micarta here. We've got it in carbon fiber and also in a natural G10. And man, this is a knife. This is a knife that really fits the hand well. Um, at the show, we had people with really large hands, small hands, medium hands. Everybody's trying this out, and everybody had the same comment. They said, man, it really locks your hand in there. So based on the way that uh, you've got that front choil for your finger there, um, or front cut out in the handle. Um, and then the way that the back of the handle sweeps down, it makes it so that most sizes of hands can really lock in there. Um, you get a great purchase on this knife. So very, very usable um, blade. Really cool design from Eric Oaks. Uh, really excited about this one. And that takes us to the last Wii knife that we showed at SHOT Show. Now that does not mean that's the last knife that we will be releasing this year and there will be some models that you're not seeing here released throughout the year kind of sporadically um, as the production finishes on those. So that's one of the fun things about Wii Knife and Civivi. You're always going to get something exciting uh, that drops along the way. Um, one of the more popular designs at the show, the Ferrum Forge designed Malice Button Lock. This is a 20 CV titanium handle button lock flipper based off of the original Malice that was released under the Wii brand, um, which was slightly larger than this button lock Malice. If you're familiar with the, the original Malice, um, again, that, the, the knife was just slightly larger than this one. We also released the Civivi Odium, 
which is a little bit smaller than this one, and, and it was released under the Civivi brand as a flipper knife. Now this one right here, we've incorporated the incredible button that we has been manufacturing along with the incredible design of the Ferrum Forge Malice and give you kind of the ultimate medium knife right here. One of the things that I really like about this knife is just the sound that you get out of it uh, when that knife uh, clicks into place on your titanium frame. Um, it gives you a really nice tink, really beautiful sound. Um, ultra, ultra fidgetability with this knife. Using the button lock and using the cutouts in the blade, you can f uh, middle finger flick it. You can use just the, the button or the flipper tab. So guys, I know you're going to be excited about this one. I've already seen the comments. This is a, a sure to not miss. Um, beautiful flat grind on that blade, finger choil, ultimate usability. So don't miss this one. Um, guys, last thing I wanted to say, we had a fantastic time at the show. Thanks everybody for stopping by the booth. Um, all the booth reviews that happened, um, all of the uh, celebrities, the knife makers, everybody that stopped by, we had an incredible time. So once again, thank you for coming to the show. I hope you guys like our products here. Um, please let us know in the comments what your favorite knives are, what you're most excited about coming out in 2022. If we're missing something, let us know that too. So thanks again for dropping by and have a great day.